Hello. So we'll see some of the questions from reproduction in organisms. So anyways, we have covered the reproduction in organisms from the previous uh, videos. So in this video, we are going to see how to answer the question from this chapter of reproduction in organisms. So here is the very first question. Which animals have developed the capacity for regeneration? So like, for example, if any part of the organism got destroyed, damaged, or due to F, any of cause, like how that organism will regenerate again. So for example, uh, the, the correct answer here is hydra as well as starfish. Hydra will come under the phylum nidarians, freshwater nidarian. If any part of the hydra is been cut, so hydra can replace that organ very easily because that has the power of regeneration. And even the phylum planaria, also phylum platyhelminthus, the organism planaria also will have the high level of regeneration. And next is starfish. So there is a very uh, interesting thing regarding starfish is it is pentamerous in nature, having five limbs. If any one of the limb got cut, it can replace that limb very easily. And starfish will come under the phylum Echinodermata. And uh, remaining options cannot have that much capacity of regeneration. So because all the three uh, cannot have uh, that much capacity. The correct answer is Hydra as well as starfish. Sporulation will occur in. So the reproduction with the help of sporulation will occur in. Out of this all options, plasmodium. Plasmodium will reproduce by sporulations. And next, which plant reproduce vegetatively by roots? So oxalis will be having flowers. So no need of uh, reproducing vegetatively by roots. Oxalis will be having flowers. Bryophyllum will be having uh, so notes on the leaves. So leaf notes. So those also will be reproducing not by the roots, by the flower. Sorry, not by the leaf. This is by the flower, oxalis. And bryophyllum is by the leaf. And uh, we have the onion. Onion is mainly by bulb. It will reproduce by bulb. And uh, dahlia. Dahlia will have the vegetative structures by roots. So it will reproduce by roots. And next. Which plant reforms vegetative reproduction with the help of floral buds? So floral buds. Uh, so vegetative reproduction which happens by the floral buds is out of all this is agave. So here we have bryophyllum is not the answer because that will re vegetatively reproduce by buds present on the leaf. Ginger by the stem modification. So not the asparagus. So the correct answer is agave. Vegetatively reproduce with the help of floral buds. The correct answer is agave. So which part of bryophyllum will perform the vegetative reproduction? So I already told you but on the leaf margin. So that will help for the plant to reproduce vegetatively, but on leaf margin. What type of chromosomes that are always present in the gametes? So the type of chromosomes that are always present in the gametes are haploid. Always the gametes are haploid and the zygote is diploid. The correct answer is haploid. And next, which physiological process is necessary for birth, death, the growth, death, production of offsprings and continuity of the species. The right answer is reproduction. So reproduction is the very essential thing for the continuity of the species and for the continuity of the organism generations after generation. Which type of reproduction? Single parent is essential for reproduction. So as usual, it is asexual. So for asexual reproduction, single parent is essential. Even if you see the fragmentation and vegetative is also a type of asexual reproduction. So we have, we can go for asexual reproduction. In which type of reproduction, two individuals of opposite sex are essential. So that is none other than sexual reproduction. Okay. Sexual reproduction, two partners involvement should be there. Which type of organisms uh, show asexual reproduction is seen? So asexual reproduction is being usually seen in 
unicellular as well as bicell uh, multicellular in both unicellular and multicellular if you go with sponges that will reproduce asexually if you go with kingdom monera protista fungi plants so the those are even plants are multicellular fungi is multicellular those will reproduce asexually and unicellular monera protista will reproduce asexually so the correct answer is both a and c how does uh, amoeba will reproduce so amoeba will reproduce by the help of binary fission as well as by sporulation both the things are correct by sporulation sporulation during unfavorable conditions binary fission is normal favorable conditions so before going into the next question so an academy will provide you like this training every day okay till your neat ug so if you want to reach your neat ug goal by solving all the questions from botany geology physics chemistry and you can you can attempt the most complicated questions also as well and you can get the centum uh, is it possible is possible with an academy so don't forget a chance to reach your goal by through an academy okay so save up to 25% on your an academy neat ug subscription and this price beat you can beat the price hike before may 19th so today is the last day before that if you get subscription and uh, the subscribe subscribe with this referral code gss03 with this referral code you can get a chance so for plus and as well as uh, iconic subscription so at present the prices are this but the offer price is this usually the prices of for the plus subscription is this but the offer price is this you can save up to this amount for plus subscription if you go for iconic subscription this is the present amount and uh, the iconic price offer will be this present offer price is this running price is this as for today so because today night till 12 pm is the last day so because uh, after after 12 am so after 12 am uh, this price i hike again will go back to this and you can save for iconic subscription this amount and the referral code is gss03 so with this referral code you can get up to 25% of discount and you can save the hike okay so please don't forget and the link is present in my description box you have any doubt regarding botany geology you can put your doubts in the comment section and you can join to the live special live classes which is going to be happen in an academy and you can solve your doubts okay so uh, i hope you will be coming to the live classes as well okay we'll go back so okay next uh, the question is what is a ciliated spore so juice spores are said to be ciliated spore why do it need spore uh, like cilia for movement so juice means movement so obviously the correct answer is juice spore non flagellated spores are called conidia usually which organism you can see conidia so this terminology we use for fungi so out of this all the four penicillium is the fungi so fungi will reproduce by non flagellated spore which is conidia conidia means dust and you can see the penicillium which will be on the penicillium you can see the dust like appearance so that is nothing but the conidia hydra uh, will comes under nidarians amoeba amoeba is a protista and uh, so we otherwise call it as protozoans chlamydomonas chlamydomonas is an algae so unicellular algae that to green algae and next So actually, Chlamydomonas will be having flagellated thing. Which animal produced by exogenous budding? So the best example for this is Hydra, because the first budding is observed in Hydra only. So Hydra is the answer for this. And also Hydra, the budding is actually an unequal mitotic div mitotic division, and that too once the bud got the dissociated from the body it will develop into a new individual the correct answer is hydra and next which animal reproduce by multiple fission so the correct answer is plasmodium so the multiple fission like uh, easily 1 to 2 2 to 4 4 to 8 like that multiple uh, it will go, go the correct plasmodium 
So hydra is by budding. Spongilla is by it is hermaphrodite. Sponges are hermaphrodites having sexual reproduction, and also through fragmentation as well. So euglena is by uh, fission, binary fission, but not multiple binary fission. In which method of asexual reproduction the division of cytoplasm is not possible? Okay. So in which method? So in amitotic division. The division of cytoplasm is not possible. A mitotic. In a mitotic division, there is no spindle fiber formation or anything. Directly, the chromosome will double and that will divide like that. In which process the cyst will get formation? The cyst formation will happen in sporulation because the spores has to be protected. Around the spores, we have the cyst. In which method pseudopodiospores are formed? So in sporulation only, pseudopodiospores are get formed. The correct answer is sporulation. In which organism other than amoeba, sporulation is seen? So sporulation is seen in plasmodium. So in amoeba and plasmodium, sporulation is seen. In which animal the formation of exogenous budding take place from the parent body? The right answer is hydra. So from the hydra only. In which uh, special method of reproduction found in nephrolepis? So nephrolepis, that is none other than stolons. So in this method, special method of reproduction is found in nephrolepis, so which is stolen. Which of the following is not a natural method of vegetative reproduction? So cutting, cutting is not a natural way of vegetative reproduction, it is done by man-made. So we'll cut a stem or root and we'll plant it. That is cutting. Runners, offset suckers are natural. How many chromosomes are there in the meiocytes of apple? So if you have seen in the previous video, then you can uh, answer this. The answer is 17. So, okay, 17. Actually, uh, it is 34. So 34 is, uh, uh, sorry. 34 is the diploid, half of the 34 is 70. So the chromosome for that uh, uh, the haploid cell is 70. In which organism, in which animal conjugation occurs as a sexual reproduction? So that is none other than paramecium. So in paramecium, the conjugation will happen. The conjugation will actually happen in unicellular organisms. The so birds, no, no chance, hydra budding. Birds are sexual reproduction, internal fertilization. Hydra is by budding. Spirogyra. Spirogyra is mainly by fragmentation. Sexual reproduction is possible. Development of zygote takes place outside the body. We call it as. The development of zygote will take place outside the body, which we call it as oviparous. Okay, that we call it as. So because. Uh, the zygote, after egg laying, the zygote will be developed outside the body. If you take hen, so remaining ostrich, birds. And by which asexual reproduction method, dictyota, fung, fucus, yeast will reproduce. So mainly by budding. So by the process of budding, dictyota, fucus and yeast will reproduce. Which algae will reproduce by fragmentation? So, Eulothrix, Idiogonium, and Spirogyra, Zygnema, these are all the algae which will reproduce by fragmentation. And next, which plants, in which plants motile ciliated spores are produced during spore formation? So the correct answer is chlamydomonas. So chlamydomonas will be having ciliated spores. Which divide first during the method of fission? Nucleus will divide first. In amoeba, the plane of cytoplasmic division in which direction? So in any direction it, it can take place because amoeba will not have any shape right? in any direction. And what is the type of division in euglena? In euglena, it is longitudinal division. In paramecium, it is transverse. In euglena, it is uh, longitudinal. Other than euglena, 
So which will be dividing longitudinally? So paramecium plasmodium will be dividing longitudinally only. Amoeba, no direction. So verticella. So verticella will be dividing longitudinally. In which method of asexual reproduction, the offsprings are genetically identical to the parents? So exact copies. So that is binary fission. So exact copies of their parents. Non-motile and non-flagellated spores are commonly seen in which plants? So the right answer is Pencilium and Aspergillus. So these will be producing conidia, dust. And next, the plants which bear only one kind of spores during sporophytic stage. We call it as homospores, homo and same. If you know the terminology, like these questions, you can answer. The plants which bear only two types of spores, of heterospores, during sporophytic stage, we call it as heterosporous. The question itself, you have the answer. So that is the beauty of biology. If you know the terminology, somewhat 50% of the things you can answer. And most of the time, the question itself consists the answer. Which type of spores produced by pteridophytes and gymnosperms? Heterospores, obviously. Heterospores. So, and uh, so, so different types of spores will be there. So, male spores and female spores will be different. How does the vegetative reproduction take place in flowering plants? So, vegetative reproduction is been mainly by natural as well as artificial, has been done naturally as well as artificially. Okay, which of the following pair is incorrect? So, lawn grass runner, this is right. And uh, pistia offset, this is also right. And nephrolepsis stolons, this is also right. So, salaginella is not by suckers. So, this is the wrong one. Which of the following plant, plant shows root cutting? So, the correct answer is lemon. So lemon is the plant which shows root cutting. Okay, so these are the few questions. So uh, we'll make a video with uh, uh, some more questions in the next coming videos. So thank you very much. And don't forget to subscribe to an academy. Okay, bye.